ఫోలియేటల్ వైటమిన్స్ అనేది దే ఆర్ ఎక్స్ట్రీమ్లీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫర్ ఎ ప్రెగ్నెంట్ ఉమెన్ ఐడియలీ దే షుడ్ బి టేకెన్ అబౌట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద టైమ్ దట్ దే స్టార్ట్ టు ప్లాన్ ఎ ప్రెగ్నెన్సీ సపోజ్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ మెన్స్ట్రల్ సైకిల్ దే వాంట్ టు ప్లాన్ ఫర్ ఎ ప్రెగ్నెన్సీ దట్స్ వెన్ దే షుడ్ బి టేకింగ్ అండ్ మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ దీస్ ఈజ్ ఫోలిక్ యాసిడ్ వై ఫోలిక్ యాసిడ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ వైటమిన్ దట్స్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫర్ ఎనీ ర్యాపిడ్లీ గ్రోయింగ్ టిష్యూస్ ఆర్ సెల్స్ లైక్ అ ఫర్టిలైజర్ ఎగ్ హ్యాస్ టు గ్రో ఇన్ టు అ బేబీ సో దట్ నీడ్స్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ ఫోలిక్ యాసిడ్ అండ్ ఫోలిక్ యాసిడ్ ఆల్సో ప్రివెంట్స్ నర్వస్ సిస్టమ్ డిఫెక్ట్స్ ఇన్ ద బేబీ వాట్ వీ కాల్ న్యూరల్ ట్యూబ్ డిఫెక్ట్స్ సో టు ప్రివెంట్ దీస్ ఫోలిక్ యాసిడ్ ఈజ్ రికమెండెడ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద టైమ్ ఆఫ్ ట్రయింగ్ టిల్ త్రీ మంత్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్రెగ్నెన్సీ హవ్ ఎవర్ లాంగ్ ఇట్ టేక్స్ and because it's only a b complex group of vitamin there are no side effects so this is the most important element of the prenatal vitamins apart from calcium and iron most of the uh, vitamins and mineral requirement in pregnancy are met with if the woman takes a healthy nutritious diet so most of them are available in that but there are certain vitamins that may not be available for some groups like pure vegetarians may not get certain aspects of these minerals so that's why all these vitamins are mixed in a tablet called prenatal vitamin group and we advise women to take this and folic acid requirement increases in some group of women like uh, women who throw fits epilepsy they require a bigger dose so because their uh, epileptic medications will digest the folic acid so they need a bigger dose so we tailor it according to the situation and we prescribe these vitamins and iron and calcium also form a very important part of these uh, medications because the uh, baby bones and teeth uh, development need lot of calcium so we tell women you can get it through dietary source dairy products and milk and all this but if women can't tolerate milk then we have to supplement this calcium in the form of tablets or syrup the dose is almost uh, 1000 mg per day so each tablet will have 500 mg so they have to take two per day and they should not combine calcium with iron because both of them chelate and absorption becomes poor so you have to take it at different times and iron tablet is very important for the hemoglobin that is the blood content so that they don't become anemic and the blood supply to the baby's growth is uh, met with so they have to take iron at a different time and they can uh, look out at their diet which uh, include should include sources which are rich in iron like green leafy vegetables dry fruits you know some nuts every day beetroot so all these they can even take an advice from a nutritionist and make a diet plan for them during pregnancy and the other myth that most women have in pregnancy is that they are eating for two people so they have to eat double what they are eating that's actually not quite true they only need 300 calories extra per day so which can easily be met with with minor changes in their diet so we don't want excess weight gain also in pregnancy the average weight gain we expect is around 8 to 12 kilos so we don't want too less a weight gain or too much of a weight gain because that in itself will bring other problems like diabetes and so on so if they watch their diet take uh, good advice from their uh, treating doctor and take these medications as advised it will help with the healthy growth of their baby <music>